everybody. Um, yeah, we're back in the dye studio. In fact, I've been in here all morning. I've been really busy with the, the dye vats this, today. I've been working with Logwood, Cochineal, Fustic, Weld. Um, just really, really lovely. But unfortunately, it just means my fingernails aren't really great because I've been, you know, I forget to put my gloves on and, um, and then they go in the dye pots and everything. So you must excuse me. But anyway, so last night I was really busy. Um, I was, um, if you remember, um, we'd got to just um, the beginnings of our sock and um, I've knitted up until the start of the heel um, last night. How many rows you're probably going to ask me? The pattern says a total of 75 from beginning to um, um, to the start of the heel. Um, and that was, I think, 15 for the cuff. And then that would be 60 from there to there. Um, I forget. I don't count. If I'm really honest with you, I don't count. And this was the length of watching out of Africa. Um, I sat down with Netflix and um, got into Out of Africa. I haven't watched seen Out of Africa for many, many years and it's just as scrumptious as ever and I really love it. So, so that's what I came up with. So today what we're going to do is move on to the heel. Now where I've finished, I've finished my row hopefully, might be wrong, but let me just double check that. Oops, move that camera. Is that I've finished the, my row at the same point where um, we begin. So that is in line with um, the, the start. So we know that we're at the beginning. Right, so let me actually read the pattern out to you so that if you are following the pattern while we're doing this, it can help make perfect sense. Heel flap. So from where we are now, which is at the beginning of the row, it says knit 15 and turn. Um, and then we're going to knit back. So when we knit 15, 15 is actually on one stitch. So we're actually going to be knitting the two needleworth, so 30 stitches, which will form the back of the heel of the sock. And we're going to take those four. So I'm going to, from the starting point of the row, I'm now going to knit 15. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. And then it says, if we follow the pattern, it says row one slip first stitch and purl nine on the needle sorry purl 29 30 stitches on the needle and turn so we've been working in the round going round and round so it's always been knit so far but now we're going to go back along this one needle so i'm going to turn the knitting round and i'm going to Go back on the same needle we've just knitted on. Slip stitch the first one. Always remember to slip stitch the first stitch. It really helps when you come to picking up stitches, which you'll need to do further down the track. So 29. So we know that that's going to be all of that one needle. And instead of changing needles, which we would do normally, I'm going to put that needle down now and I'm going to carry on to the next need to the next needle. Whoops, just dropped one off there. So I'm going to end up with my 30 stitches on one needle. One, two, three. Five, 
14, 15, that's always nice when it works out, you know you're right. And we're going to work on this needle and on the 30 stitches that are on that row. So we've got, we're going to leave the 15 on this stitch, this needle and 15 on this needle and just carry on on that 30 stitches on that one bit which will form the back of the heel. Okay. So if we read our pattern, it says row two, slip first stitch. So always remember to slip that first stitch um, and turn. So we're going to slip that first stitch and then we're going to knit. And there should be 30 stitches on there. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 14, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Right, so that's brilliant. We've got 30. So that's two rows done for the heel flap. Okay, so I'm going to make a note of that. And it says repeat row one and two 14 times. Okay, so in total, we need to do 30 rows on those 30 stitches on that one needle. So I'm going to carry on doing that. I will um, and we will come back on the heel shaping next. Okay, so I have knitted the back of the heel flap. So you're knitting in stocking stitch so you've got your knit rows there and your purl rows there and it's all on the one stitch it's 30 stitches you are slipping the first stitch on every single row um, and you're now ready to start forming the actual turn of the heel which is probably the trickiest bit in the knitting part but it's not tricky it is actually really straightforward okay if you feel like you've lost count then what i always do is count the number especially if you've remembered and you see along along there because you've slipped stitches there's quite big loops and you should have 14 of those one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yep yeah, brilliant so the 15 one is actually going to um, be form when we do the next little little bit. So on here it's called heel shaping. And with the heel shaping we're only going to work with those 30 stitches. We're not going to worry about these two, they can just stay there quite happily and we're just going to work on these 30 stitches. Okay. So I have to admit this is the bit you have to concentrate, you really have to concentrate and it can still go wrong and it does go wrong with me um, and then you have to unpick and go back. So let's hope that we don't have to unpick and go back today, but it does happen. So don't give yourself a hard time over it, it does. It's just a matter of really focusing hard and, um, and counting as you go. And then once you're through that little bit, you're off and away again, okay? So the first line of the pattern says, row one, slip the first stitch, purl 16. So you slip the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
13, 14, 15, 16, which means you should have 17 stitches on there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 1. Okay, so I've got 16 stitches on there. And then it says, purl 2 together, purl 1. So I'm going to purl the next two together. You're going to purl one, okay, and then you turn. So we're going to turn it around, and the next row says slip five stitches. Sorry, slip stitch, knit five. Beg your pardon. So the next row is so you're going to slip that first stitch, and then you're going to knit five. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. It then says SSK two together. Okay. So you're going to slip and you know what? I think for this purpose that is complicated. So what I'm going to suggest to you, until you've got used to doing this, I think, well, if you can do that, the SSK two together, so you're slipping them and knitwise two together. And what it does is it, it changes the way that the, the, the stitch is, so it's a reflection of the opposite side. But I'm going to suggest to you right now to just knit two together, because actually that's what I do every single time. And it was only until I got there that I realised I never do that. And I had to really think about what I was going to say to you. And what I want to say to you is, don't worry about it. Just knit two together. So I'm going to knit two together. And I'm going to knit one and turn. So what we are forming, you can see there, is a reflection on both sides. We should now have two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. So there's a bit of a gap there that's formed and there's going to be a gap there that's formed and we should have the same number of stitches on either side. Okay, so as long as that happens, so we're going to turn again. I'm going to slip that first stitch and we're going to then, let's read the pattern again, we're going to purl six stitches, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to knit two together. Now, when I'm doing this without a pattern, the way I know that I'm right is because the two stitches on the gap, so there's the gap in the middle there, we knit those two together, okay? I'm going to knit those two together and you're going to purl one and turn. We're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we've got back to those, so I've knitted seven and we've got back to the two with the, the gap. We've got a stitch either side of the gap and we're going to knit those, what I call the gap stitches, together. Knit one and turn. And it will be now eight stitches that we've got to do. So slip that first one and we're going to purl eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, we're back to what I call the two gap stitches. We're going to pull those two together and then pull one. Turn it around onto nine now. 
So we're going to slip that first stitch and we're going to knit nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're back to the, the two gap stitches there. Can you see them? And I'm going to knit those two together. I'm going to knit one. Already you can start to see, let me hold it up, there's a bit of, whoops, if I can get this to show to you, you can already start to see that there's a bit of shaping coming now, okay? And if we want to just double check where we are, always do it when you've done both a purl and a knit row, you can just double check that we're on track here. So can you see we've got two, four, six stitches there, two, four, six stitches there and then we've got our ones in the middle, okay? So I'm now going to slip a stitch and I'm going to knit, sorry, purl, up to ten I think we are now. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. We've got to our two gap stitches. Two gap stitches. I'm going to purl those together. And then we're going to purl one. Slip the first stitch. Knit 11 now, aren't we? Yeah, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Got our gap stitches. I'm going to knit those two together. And I'm going to knit one. Okay. And it's just after our knit row, we can then double check where we are again. Have we got two, four, two, four, two, four on there, and four there on the other side of the gap? Slip the first stitch, purl 12, yeah, 12, we're up to 12 now, aren't we? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go, and there goes our gap stitches. I'm going to purl those two together. And purl one to the other side. Slip the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, I'm out there. You slip that first stitch and it just two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I think we're up to thirteen, weren't we? Not twelve. Knit two together from our gap and knit one. There we go. So we've now got two left to go. Turn it around, slip the first stitch. 14. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't know if you can hear, can you hear the sheep? I think they're being fed. <laughs> they're all downstairs lambing, so most of them have had their lambs now. Um, there's just a couple to go, but they're all in, in the barn underneath here, and um, they're either, yeah, I'm, I'm sure Charlie's feeding them now. They get nuts and things every day, so um, that's what all the noise is about. I love it. <laughs>
Anyway, so I've done my 14, sorry to distract. So I've got 14 there. And I've got my two gap stitches either side of the gap. I'm going to purl those two together and purl one. So we've finished that side. And then we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to one, two. all the way across till we get to that gap. It's the way I, I know how to do it is to, it's, it's very logical knitting, that's what I love. So our gap there, okay. I'm gonna knit those two together, either side of that gap. And knit the last stitch. And there we have it. A beautiful little heel turn. Okay, so you can, can see it. There's such, and that works out and it's even. It's such a, a pleasure. I can't tell you. It's just a real, it's almost like magic, and you're like, gosh, it's worked. And it's a, you know, you've got that, that bottom of that heel has come in, which is super. Okay, so brilliant. That's the, that's the concentration gone. Okay. Or done with, I should say, not gone. You've still got to concentrate. But so now, what we have to do now is actually pick up. Oop, let's drop that. We're going to have to pick up stitches down the side because we've got to now join all of this together. Okay. So we're going to pick up stitches down this side, knit round the front of the sock, and back up the other side. And we're going to pick up on both sides 15 stitches. Now if you did your slip stitch, um, which I admit we can always forget to do it, it should work out really well. So the way that I pick up those stitches, and then it leaves a bit of a pattern at the side. I'm going to see if I can get closer to the, to the camera here. Um, can you see? Can you see those big loops on the side? So when I pick up a stitch, I'm going to pick up two of those. So that's that one there. Let me just that's going to be one stitch. I'm going to put my needle through that and pick that stitch up. So we could carry on putting needles, sorry, stitches on this needle. And sometimes I do, but let's take the needle back again. Okay, let's grab that, that, that fifth needle and start working it again. So let's get our 15 onto there. That's one, two, three, four, just fallen out of the dye stuff cupboard. The next one is there. Oh, it all seems to be falling out right now. That's about right, isn't it? It's having a bit of an avalanche. So carry on picking those stitches up down that side. Oops. Knit wise. One, two, three, four.
seven. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Brilliant. Let's just get the other bit then. Yeah, there we go. Did you have fifteen? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Counting just went round my head then. Okay, so fifteen. So we're now going to move on to that stitch that's round the front of the sock and just knit that. Give it a bit of a pull in because there's a bit of distance there. One, two, three. There should be 15 on these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Get through to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Now, we've got to pick up another, so we are last pick up round the other side of the sock, we're going to pick up there, that's another 15. If you've got another needle, pop your stitches on that other needle, so we'll end up working with one, two, three, four, five, and your needle six needles, but if you haven't got a spare, and that's what I would normally do, but if you haven't got a spare needle, we're just going to add them on to the last needle, and then sort them out after that. So we're going to find out where that um, last stitch is. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. So. One, two, three,
eight six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fourteen then we will need to put in oh yes we need to fix that one up to there we go two three six eight ten fourteen fifteen Okay, so now we've got we've got our stitches across the top and there should be 18 across there where we did our heel, our lovely heel turn. Okay, let me just check that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight. Eighteen stitches, that's right. We've got 18 stitches. Is that what I said? 18? We should have 18 across the top there. And then we've got 15 stitches down our first side and we've got our 15 stitches across the bottom that have been there all the time and then we've ended up with 30 stitches on that one needle. So what we need to do is just rejuggle so we're back to our four needles um, with it will end up at the moment we've got lots of stitches but we need to get back to our 60 stitches that's what we're aiming for is to get back to our 60 stitches at this point so at the moment we've got 18 we've got 30 there that's 48 there's a check my maths won't it so we've got the 30 18 that's 48 plus 15 that's 58 63 and another 15 63 63, 73, 78 stitches on there at the moment and um, we've got to get back to our 60 stitches. So in order to do that we're going to start decreasing to bring it all back together again. Okay. So what I want us to do now is to rejig where our stitches are. So the needle that we first picked up the stitches on with the 15 new picked up stitches I want to have that needle with nine from the top. So from our 18 stitches that we've got from our lovely heel turn, I want you to slip nine of them back onto that second stitch. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and that should take us into the centre of the back okay which should be then the beginning of the row. So we're left with nine stitches from the back and what I want us now to do is move the 15 new picked up stitches that we put on the big needle all on the one needle which there was 30 of. I want to put 15 back on to that needle with the remaining nine. So we've got so hang on. Just thinking this through aloud where we are. Um, okay, so that's not gonna work. I do apologise. It's interesting isn't it when you teach something how much it really makes you think what you're doing. So because our yarn for knitting is in the middle there we can't just um, put them on so what I'm going to say to you is now knit those nine all onto that same needle that I've got the 30 on so we've got one two three four five six seven eight, nine. Okay. So now what we've got is we've got our needle that's not changed. We've got 15 on there. We've got 39 stitches on there and we've got the 15 plus the nine on there, which is 24. So what we've got to do 
is get our 15, 15, 24, 24. So I'm going to now slip onto here from the, the side with our knitting yarn. I'm going to slip, always slip purlwise, 24 back on there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, so We've got our yarn now at the start of the row because we knitted those back, which is great. We've got 15 stitches on each needle at the front of the sock. And at the back of the sock, which is going to be where our heel is and going around, we've got 24 stitches and 24. And it's those 24 that we've got to reduce down to 15. OK, so on both sides, we're going to reduce them down to decreasing those 24 stitches down to 15 each. OK, so the way we do that. Is we're going to. Knit, carry on knitting round to the last three stitches on that row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so we've knitted 21 stitches and we're left with three stitches together. So we're going to knit two together, that's our decrease, and we're going to knit one. We're going to knit our 15 off the front, that will stay the same. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Next needle is 15 again. That's always stays the same. We don't do, do any decreasing on those two front needles. They are, remain at 15. And then our next stitch. So we're decreasing at those two next two the two front ones okay so we're decreasing there and we're decreasing there there and there okay so we decrease at the beginning of the row of the needle four okay needle one on the first row we decrease at the end on the fourth needle we decrease at the beginning so we're going to if you read the patterns this is another one of those slip slip knit two together ones. So again, I don't worry about that. So we're going to knit the first stitch and we're going to knit two together. And then we're going to carry on knitting up to our end point. That's row one done.
So now we should have our 15 stitches are the same on the two front needles and the needle one and four should be 23 stitches remaining, okay? So the next row is no decreasing, we just do a whole round. Now, the way that I do this when I'm not following the pattern or writing anything down is I always do a decrease row and then I count my stitches so that I remember how many there are just to double check because it's easy to, to get that to lose track of where you are. So it's just a straight round knit, nothing, nothing fancy. So we're going to knit 23 stitches off the first needle. Going to knit 15 off the second needle. We're going to knit another 15 off the third needle, those are the two front needles. And we're going to knit 23 off the fourth needle. So we've done one decrease row, one knit row, so we're on another decrease row now. So on needle, so here we go, let me just check where we are. We've got 15 stitches on the two front needles, the top of the sock. We've got the back of the heel, which is where we've turned it, and that is our starting and finishing point. That's the beginning of the row. And we've now got 23 stitches down both of the two back needles. Needle one, two, three and four. So needle one, we've got 23, 15, 15, 23. So it's now a decrease row. So it's decreasing at the end of the first needle. No decreasing on the second and third and decreasing at the beginning of the fourth needle. So you're decreasing in the centre the two side ones, so decreasing up the sides of the sock. So that's the back of the sock where the back of the heel is. That's the front of the sock. And those are the two sides of the sock, which is where the decrease happens, okay? So we're going to knit to the last three stitches, knit two together and knit one. We're not going to do anything with our 15 stitches on the two front, front of the sock. Okay. 
they remain the same right up to the point of the toe and then when you're doing the toe decreasing second of the front knee rolls And then on the fourth needle of the round, we decrease at the beginning. So we're going to knit one, knit two together. And do you fancy slip and change the twist of the stitch if you want to? But if you, if I, my 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 recommendation at this stage of the game is to not worry and not because it's you've got enough to think about with what you're doing to not worry about that and just knit plain two stitches together i've never done it and no one's ever come back to me and said oh, i'm sorry you haven't done that to your stitch but i do understand that if you like to get things looking beautiful then you do just twist those stitches round so that they are basically a mirror effect of each other from that one to that one and it just polishes it off beautifully but I'm very much a believer that I'd rather get you knitting than getting bogged down in technicality um, until you're ready to take that on. Okay, so we're gonna so we've knitted one, we've knit two together, and then knit to the end of the row. So that's row three done. so that's row three finished we're back to the beginning so now we're going to we should we started off with 24 stitches so we're now down to 22 we've got our, still our 15 on the two front ones and we've got 22 on each side and we're doing the decreasing there so the next row row three is a knit row so no decreasing use it as a counting as a checking row that's what I normally do that we remember to decrease on the last row do you find it quite interesting how easily you forget where you are and which row you're on whether it's a decreasing row or it's a, a knit row unless you're super concentrating um, so it's really easy for your mind to wander onto other things and then you realise that you've lost track. So which is why I will usually use this row, a plain knitting row, as a counting row to check where I am. And then I know the next row will be a decreasing row. So what you can do to help with your decreasing is to put a marker um, at the last but one stitch and after the first stitch on the other side as a reminder where you're going to decrease. Okay. Let me put markers in on this next row and then I'll show you what I mean. And then you can, it's also, it's easier to see where you're decreasing. The thing is, if you've knitted a few socks, it's easy for them, you know, it makes total sense to me. But when you first knit your first pair, it, the logic goes out the window and it's not always clear where you are. So I'm gonna. So we're, we've just finished our knit row, and now we're on another decrease row. So the first we're decreasing on the first and the fourth stitches. Our two front ones with 15 on are okay. 
So I'm going to knit to the last three stitches on the first needle. Three stitches left, we're going to knit two together and I'm going to place a, there's one, I'm going to place a marker there because that will then show us where we're decreasing and knit one. So I'm doubting myself then as to which needle I was on. My brain's shifting on other things. So we're going to put another marker in just to illustrate where we're doing the decrease and to, just in case it's a bit confusing. So we're going to knit the first one. I'm going to put a, there's another marker. Marker on there and then we're going to knit two together. Nothing fancy, just straight knit two together. Keep it simple, be kind on yourself. Knit to the end of the row. with having a GoPro on my head so that we can see it. Um, I think that's maybe how people do it. Um, okay, so you can now see where my two markers are. There and there, and that is where we're doing our decreasing. Okay. So we're back to the start of the row, and the next row is a knit row. So we're down to how many decreases we've done? Three decreases, 21. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Fantastic. 15 on these, just double check, they're still there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 15 then, and then we've got another 21 up on the fourth needle.
Okay, I need a little sip of a drink. Take a breath and we're on to a decrease row. Basically, you keep going with your decreases on those, those two, the first and the fourth needle until you're down to 15 stitches. Okay, which is um, what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I will um, come back to you once that bit is done and we're down to 15 each. All right, see you in a minute. Hi, um, I'm back. I've done all the, the decreasing down the side. You'll see the lovely decreasing down that part there and the same on the other side. Okay, so what we've now got is we've got our starting point, our yarn at our starting point, and we've got 15 stitches on each needle. Okay, perfect. Absolutely lovely. So the next bit, which I'm going to ask you to do um, before we get to the next the next um, session of this um, video series, is actually now knit to the toe. So if we have a look at my sock here, see there, you can see the decreasing in there. So what I'm asking you to do is knit to there, to there. So we've got a lovely toe, which if I pull it out the other way, you'll see it better. There you go, there's the toe. And we've got the middle bit there, okay? So that is basically the length of your foot. And up until that point there, that's the base of your toes, really. Um, so whenever I'm doing this, I actually um, pull the sock on my foot while I'm knitting it to see where I'm getting to. And if you don't want to do that, then just measure, really, from... Um, from that point, so really from, because you're going to be there in your sock, aren't you? Um, so that's that's the, the back of your heel, and then you're gonna be knitting to, from you've already knitted to there, and then we're gonna do the next bit. So that's the length of it, really. So that, that, that sock would fit me, which is a size six, and the total length of it from the back of the heel to um, to the beginning of the toe decreasing is, let me measure that out for you, is 18 centimetres. So, let me put that around that way and then you can see it properly. You just hold it, 18 centimetres. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's upside down, isn't it, for you guys? Sorry about that. And do it the other way and then when there we go so about 18 centimeters from the back of the heel to there and it's about um, eight and a half centimeters from the end of the decreasing to the base of the toe eight and a half centimeters the pattern says let me go back to our lovely pattern uh, da, 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 da. the foot the foot knit 45 rounds or desired length keep all three markers in place okay so that's the marker at the beginning if you put one there and the two at the side so I'm going to leave you guys to do that bit that's just a straight carrying on knitting round and round no decreasing no anything nothing fancy just keep on going 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 until you are there so we're so far we've just finished the decreasing and we're at that point and we're about to now go out there okay so I will see you in the next video thank you for watching I apologize for um, <laughs> call them typos I suppose um, first time I've done this kind of thing on a video and actually it is I've taught sock knitting um, in front of people but actually transferring it onto a video is really interesting because um, there's no interaction with other people um so i must admit i found it really tricky also i'm not quite sure where to look on the camera i think i'm meant to be looking over that side rather than looking at me so i do apologize for the very much heath robinson of this video and i know that i've i've just gone back and checked the last video that i i, I 
uh, are made and I realise that I'm saying stitches instead of needles and different things are, are not quite right but it, it is there, it is there and I'm hoping it will be helpful to you and doesn't complicate things too much. Alright, so good luck, enjoy, that's the main thing about anything you do is whether you enjoy it or not. I've certainly enjoyed um, knitting this in front of you um, and um, yeah, see you, see you very soon. Alright, thanks a lot, bye.